one. Hey guys, it's Jess. So um, I got to Portonat. I went XO in like 10 0 in Swiss. They haven't been dropped a match until top four. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, lost to like an unfortunate brick, but it happens. So got profile, and I've got uh, Alex from the Disciples <laughs> behind the camera just to, hey guys. Uh, to make it a bit more interactive. Yeah, yeah, let's go it. How many cards are you on main deck? So I'm playing 43 cards. <laughs> Wait, you're playing 43? Yeah. So you've gone okay. down from 45 okay. to 43. Okay. So it's a very different style of this normal though. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I preface that. So three loci and twin. Have to play it. There's mm -hmm. no like question there's no question mm -hmm. here. Please don't play two of this. Play three. <laughs> Lone fire. Shout out to Jacob lending me a CP. Um, <laughs> yeah, again, this is it's less of a theorem comment, so I don't play theorem. There's no theorems mm -hmm. anymore. The main reason to play this is for distributing the actual monster zone slot to mm. the, the OTK lines. It comes up a lot. Mm. Agreed. Then, uh, three petal. Uh, so, petal, three. I was going to go down to two, but like, you just want to see starters, especially since, especially if you open like multiple normal zones, especially with petal, you can just then go with your petal loci, you can just summon the loci from hand, mm. you're more protected, so it, mm. it's fine. Three is fine. Also, it's really good for uh, post side. What you always want to play to glamour in the right mm. game. I think it makes a lot of sense to play free just because you haven't got that many starter cards if you don't open a way to loci. And I think that just makes your it just rounds all your hounds, I think. Yeah, I, th uh, I think it's, it's well worth it. Mm. And then so three petal and then three princess. You have to play three princess. Okay. You can you can tie it on out going second, mm -hmm. fine. But no, game one you have to have three princess. Mm. And then two Mudan, these are the same weaker ratios as normal. Yeah. Never two is, it. Two is optimal. Yeah. There's, like, no, there's no point changing this. One prim, one so drop. Never play two primula. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's like one thing I always stress, but uh, this standard kind of recent ratio, mm -hmm. not much else to explain that's new. It's kind of standard again for the non tiles of the non engine. For the rest of it, we've got three, oh, sorry, to die, two sewing for like low guys. Mm -hmm. Then Rikas, three con con. Uh, you need three now, uh, just like Droll and Hand Traps. You really mm. want to draw this more. Yeah. Same theory as when we played Y6 London, right? You just yeah, want exactly. three, be Droll, be Hand Traps, good yeah. cards. And also, it's kind of like, it's just really, yeah, people people have find, with new format, it like, gets more popular mm. as well. People are finally going to click mm. on for this deck, like, to hit the mood down. So yeah. you want three. One day, one day. So, like, I have doubts. <laughs> but three glamour and one cheap. There is no explanation needed for this. Mm -hmm. They're good. Now we get to the non-engine. I'm playing 16 non-engine cards. Mm -hmm. And it's I guess it's a bit unusual 16. It's a lot higher than we normally go. It's around 12 to 15 normally, I'd say. Yeah, it's like so... it's also just not a standard 16 as well. Yes. So three Book of Moon. This is the best card in this deck. It is mm -hmm. this was insane. Yep. Going first, um... going second, protecting petal. Booking cash monsters, like this was just amazing. I'm really happy you played it because I was very adamant that if you're playing this event with Plant, I think you had to play Book of Moon. I think it was just such a good call for the event. Yeah, this card was like this was amazing. Then three tactics and one call by as part of our hand trap stoppers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um again, like really good going first, going second, especially in a hand trap format. Where mm. like like you see super heavy like playing 15, 18, 18 hand traps. Yeah. Having like call by as well is just like really valuable. <laughs> I was like, you're going first or second is really good. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the next card, uh, three cross out designators. So why did you play cross out? So <laughs> cross out's really good. I, I wish out to like Tom Rose for like, because mm -hmm. he had the idea originally in his list. Mm -hmm. And then like we kind of adapted it into, I, like about an hour before the event, we kind of adapted it into my list. Because mm -hmm. like, I thought I thought about it a bit more, like over like half an hour. And it just seemed so solid. So yep. I was making three dark crawler originally, mm -hmm. and then three imperm, three droll. Mm. But instead of it altered the hand trap ratio slightly and play Dark Ruler, so I say cross out said Dark Ruler mm. because cross out it's good going first and going second, mm. especially going. It's a lot better for going second than people think because, yes. like, Super Heavy is going to see four or five hand traps mm. both times anyway, <laughs> so it's fine. So you might as well have it. Yeah, and then, and then targets for the targets. Uh, we'll start off with the so two in pump. <laughs> Two Droll, um, one Ash, one Niv. <laughs> so originally I was on three Droll, so three Droll, three Infirm. 
Yep. But all I did was the ogres and effectively don't play that. Mm -hmm. Veil or Mourner usage pretty low, and they generally mm -hmm. don't affect me too badly. So the ones that really affect me are Ash on my sewing. Yep. And Nib. As well as like these two, obviously. Yeah. So having like, I just like, decided just took one of each out. These they're also good to see going second, yeah. so good going second cards anyway. And then multiple imperm being because it's better going second as well. Yeah, it's like you were, you were fine to draw this as a second card as well. Yeah. And Agreed. yeah, it was like genuinely really solid. Also, cross out being able to hit cards like Book of Moon and Tactics in my mm -hmm. opponent's deck. Yep. Especially tactics. I think in my top four, top sixteen match against uh, Alex Moffat, I cross outed. Uh, caught, like, I used I used tactics. Looked at his hand. Saw Duster Storm, Duster Lightning Storm and Tactics. I did like common defense set, like set cross out and pass. He top deck planet, so he had full engine. Yep. But I couldn't. Even, like if I didn't have to cross out to call the tactics, yeah, he would be able to tactics draw and then like when I try to negate the cash play and just yeah, yeah, it just gets a little bit out of hand a bit too a bit too quickly. Basically, yeah. So I think like cross out was like cross out the, the card of the the card of the event was Book of Moon by far. Yep. But I think cross out and like tactics were also mm -hmm. just like just for me. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go on to extra deck. Mm -hmm. My side deck's a bit um, interesting because of the cross out. So we're getting to side deck <laughs> after. <laughs> so extra deck, I think. This is the extra I think every plant player should be playing. Correct. Like, there's no there's no shifting budging room yeah, on this. I agreed. Um, Three Dryas. Dryas, yep. Two healer. I'm very, I'm, ve you ha I think this is a two of. Yeah, it even, has to play two. Even if you're not aiming for the uh, the normal Therion combo, yeah, I no. still think I'd always rather have two and save the, what's it called? The guy, Thrasher. Yeah, and then one Thrasher. Thrasher, OTKs. Please. Just like, it, Right. Play, please play this. It yeah. OTKs like all the time. It just mm -hmm. gives you free wind to blow and fire. Mm -hmm. Then, so that's like once. So I was doing a variation on the Therion combo yep. with like banishing Twin from Grave. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can still do it without Therions, it's absolutely fine. Yep. Yeah, free, and free advantage, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, no reason not to. Yeah. Two Jasmine, Dance. <laughs> These are all correct. This is mainly yeah. for level manipulation. Mm -hmm. I never. I. I've never, I never hit broken off this. Um, Tom did a cool play with uh, in top play two against me, where he uh, before he made the lies to the kill combo, he did this to try and hit a Rika card. So his negating grave was like, I thought that was cool. Yeah, like, it's, it's cute. Like, I think this is like, I think these are just really good. Yeah, you have to. I think you, you have, I think it's the correct ratio. Yeah. Like, definitely won't change it. <laughs> then Melius for the OTK play yep. and just like to bang matter. No explanation needed. Exactly. Double Strenna, mm. Teardrop, and Hyper. No explanation needed. You can't if you, change it. If you, if you change, like, the, I've gone through all 15 of these extra cards <laughs> in multiple matches yeah. and won. Like, mm. there's nothing I change. I get third strenna would be nice, but you, like, these come up, especially when you crash Dryas crash dry a lot. Yeah, I crash Dryas loads yeah. just to get free extenders. Mm. And that like, you need, like, also, if you manage your, I feel like if you manage your grind game correctly, you don't need the third boss. I agree, I agree as well. So then side the... The fun bit. Um, just a quick question. How many times did you do... Did you ever do this double strength play going first? Or did you uh, try So I it? did when... Like, if I'd been... So if I'd been... I did do the double, double strength play going first. Mm -hmm. um, it very much was hand dependent though. Okay, yeah. So if I had like more supporting cards, i just go for that because I know I can't get blown out. Sure, okay. Uh, but, and i just kind of win. Mm -hmm. But I, if I had, let's say, a bunch of hand traps with it, I'd just do a like, little play because I know I can just like winning the grind because I got yeah, all these hand traps. Okay, so it's like cool. very hand dependent. Yeah, yeah, I was just a bit curious. So, side. Good this was the god card. It always is. Yeah, like, ever since like we found was, out about it. It was a bit mid and... Because oh, we didn't play it in... Um, yeah, Darius, I guess, but, I guess, yeah. No, it's like... It hit summer limit for me. Mm -hmm. It hit, tea, it hit Uh It hit... And like a lot of Kestira mm -hmm. births. This card is necessary. Yep. Uh, yeah. Then... Mm -hmm. One D shifter. Uh, okay, so this seems a bit weird. This was like the fifteenth card, right? Yeah. But this is really good against, uh, like, super, if you okay, it's for cross out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay, it's partially for cross out. It's also partially for like the siding plan because mm -hmm. you had we had one slot and we wanted something we wanted to cross out target for the shifter. Sure. But we also wanted to side something going second against cash. Yep. This is amazing. Sorry, not against cash and super heavy. Mm -hmm. This was amazing going second super heavy. Like mm -hmm. I did see it once. Mm -hmm. I used it. He passed. Yep. And then he, you know, he gave me a snowplow hustle rustle so I couldn't special summon. But I bricked. 
I tribute someone That's like funny. I couldn't no, I couldn't play if you didn't do that. So yeah. I tribute someone for Mudan, got engine, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. I don't know that. Yeah, no. Amazing. Yeah. I wouldn't play more. It was made just for cross out target, mm -hmm. but yeah. Then three bestial, like four bestials. Four bestial. Great against branded. Great against IKEA. Ikea like IKEA. Great against um like Math Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just good card. Yeah. Like, I know it conflicts a bit with like die and like petal, like it's so valuable that I yeah. don't care. Yeah. I also, you can that. just craft stuff or tribute off or whatever. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then two ash, one draw. <laughs> These are just the thirds. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. These are just the thirds. Yeah. Because uh, draw is really good against like, super heavy. Uh, ash is just really good against branded mm. or rogue stuff or labyrinth mm. and like here that kind of thing. Also, kind of good going first sometimes. Mm. Yeah. The last cards three dark ruler. Wouldn't side this again. It was completely useless. I don't think I used it once. <laughs> Um, it was okay. It would it would have been really good if I saw it against some super heavies, mm -hmm. but I won anyway. Sure. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I didn't need to see it. And probably the best card in the side deck is triple evenly matched. Good one. People cut this card. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Because sure, it's not so great against super heavy, mm -hmm. but all the old format decks it was broken against. Mm -hmm. It is still broken against. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this body's cash. I don't see why people were playing this because <laughs> um, you. Even especially, it, came, it won me top like top sixteen. It won me a bunch of Swiss matches and like yeah, matchup wise, won a quick rundown, which mm -hmm. was like I played all cash and top cut. I think I played like one plan, one labyrinth, seven cash, three super like yeah. It's that kind of it was it's like, what you expect, right? Yeah, like, but I think this form, this deck is also completely next format legal. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You like, might be CV back. May or... change some tech cards, but yeah, like definitely. This deck, like, I think this deck is a really solid choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shout outs. <laughs> Tier Zero Games. Sponsor, like, yeah, Co Plant 5, check them out. You know, I think everyone knows Tier Zero by now. <laughs> like, everyone knows Tier Zero. Yeah, yeah, it's just funny. Um, then, shout, individual shout outs. Right. We've got shout outs to Alex Robertson by the camera. Oh. Uh, shout outs to people who help me test, Dave and Emily. <laughs> shout outs to the real Alex Robertson. Have to every time. Uh, shout outs to Jacob's car breaking down. <laughs> shout outs to all like Lesla and like everyone who like helped me out, let me cars, mm. help me test. Yeah. There's way too many people to shout out for me to actually like go into yep. it. But yeah, great event. It was nice seeing everyone. Thanks to everyone who said hi. 